having quality drinking water is really important no matter where you live but especially when you're on an off-grid homestead where you catch all your water from the rain it's more important than ever to know what you're drinking so let's dive in Aloha everybody, this is Sean with Homestead in Hawaii and today we're going to run over how to test your water quality to make sure it's good enough to drink, okay? So I have this little home water test kit. It has been certified by the EPA. It tests for pH and iron, lead, and then it also tests for bacteria, which, you know, E. coli or other hepatitis A, Giardia, other sort of bacteria that can really cause some real issues in your drinking water. It also tests for that. So we are going to test our water tank and then we're also going to test the water where it comes out of the tap where we have our water filter that filters it right at our tap with zero extra electricity and out comes clean drinking water. So let's dive into using this test kit and see what we got here. All right, so first we're gonna test the pH. Um, if you have a pool, you pretty much have seen these before. This is a great experiment for you to do with your kids, okay? So we have this test strip. It has 16 different colors. That means it's testing for 16 different things. And if you wanna check what it's testing for, you could read right there. But let's go ahead and dip it in the water. Okay, we're gonna leave it in the water for about 20 seconds, and then we're gonna take it out. We'll let it sit air dry for 60 seconds, and then we'll compare it to our chart. This is the one that came out of the water, and this is a brand new one. You can see there's a little bit of a change from them. Now we're gonna compare them to our color chart. So the kit comes with a color chart. We could compare here for each thing. So lead, we have zero. Fluoride, uh, you know, might be a little bit. Iron, zero. Copper, came out yellow, which isn't even on that chart. <laughs> Mercury is zero. Chlorine, which is uh, about right. I haven't put chlorine in a little while and it is showing zero. Nitrite and nitrates, zero. pH is at 6.0, so it's a little bit acidic, so it could come up a little bit with some baking soda. Alkalinity is at zero. Hardness is at a good 25 mark. No uh, aluminum. Uh, sulfate is at zero. Zinc is low levels. Chlorine. What did I show over there? Total chlorine and then chlorine. Chlorine again is chlorine. a little bit blue, so it's a, I would say 0 0.5 because I do put chlorine and then manganese that's at zero. So it doesn't really have any of these extra added metals that you do tend to find in city water. So let's go ahead and test the water for bacteria. We already know that our water tank is free of all of this. So our water filter will only make that better, which I don't even think we can make better. Inside our kit came the bacteria test. And what we have to do is just fill it with our sample water and wait for the results, which will take two days. Okay, so we're gonna pour the water into our test, fill it up to the line, which is the end of the sticker paper, and then screw it shut. You can see, EPA certified, Woo -hoo. <laughs> no longer do you have to send your samples in, you can do this right at home. Always make sure to label your sample so you know which one you got there. Alright, so now we're going to take our next sample. This is the water from after our water filter. So this is our purified water. Hopefully it doesn't have any bacteria or God knows what's inside my gut right now. So we're gonna cap that up and we're also gonna wait two days for um, to be able to read our sample. If it stays yellow, that means we have no bacteria. If this thing turns green, it's bad news, okay? So let's see how our water filter holds up to filtering our water tank to see if, it, to be able to make it drinkable. 
Okay, it's a couple days later and the results are in. We did have a little bit of bacteria in our water tank, indicated here by this green sample. But the good news is, the water sample taken at the tap is free of bacteria. So the Clarify Quantum Disinfectant Filter is doing its job. It's cleaning out the bacteria and making that water drinkable. So that's super good news. But the bad news is, the water tank has bacteria. And we want to try and have our water system as bacteria free the whole way through. And so that starts at the roof. We're going to get in there at some point and pressure wash the roof, clean it out real good, and spray out the gutters, make sure they're really clean, clean out all the filters, give the tank a uh, cleaning. And if you haven't had a chance, I did do a video on how to clean your water tank. And we will probably add a little bit of chemicals or whatnot to, to kill off the bacteria that is already in the tank right now. So we can start off with a clean slate. And then after all that, we'll do a water test again and see where we stand. The idea is to have our water in our tank as clean as possible, but that filter there at the tap is there as a backup so that we can have safe, clean drinking water. I hope you learned something today. If you did, why don't you just go ahead and plant that finger on the like button for us and be sure to check us out in future episodes. We are putting up new videos every week teaching you all about homesteading in the tropics. Until next time, everyone. Hui ho.